Hi everyone, I'm Jay. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how I made these delicious cinnamon roll scones. I'll start by sifting together 260 grams of plain flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt, and one tablespoon of caster sugar. Once it's all sifted, I'll spend some time giving everything a good mix. Now I'll add 85 grams of cold butter. Then I'll spend some time pressing and rubbing the butter into the flour with the tips of my fingers till I get a crumb texture. Okay, so all the butter's rubbed in, I'll add 180 millilitres of milk. I'll add a little at a time, I might not need all of it, I just want enough to form a dough. Okay, so that's enough liquid now. The dough is coming together nicely. I'll set the dough to one side for now. In a bowl, I'll mix 75 grams of brown sugar with one teaspoon of cinnamon. I've got my baking tray lined and ready with greaseproof paper. So I've lightly floured my surface and I'll roll my dough mixture into a rectangle shape about 8mm thick. Once I've got that rolled, I lightly spread with butter, leaving about a half an inch gap around the sides. Then I scatter with some dried fruit. I'm using sultanas, but currants or raisins would be great as well. Then I'll sprinkle with the brown sugar and cinnamon. Then I'll brush all four sides with my leftover milk. and then I'll roll tightly. And then I'll cut into eight pieces. I'm trying to use a sawing motion when I cut because I don't want to squash the dough. Now I've cut them all, I'll brush each one with a little milk. I've left a little gap between each one. I've already preheated my oven to 180 Celsius and I'll bake them for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown. 
I want a drizzle of icing on top. So whilst my cinnamon roll scones are baking, I've just mixed together a small amount of icing sugar and some cold water. So after 20 minutes, the cinnamon roll scones are done and I just drizzle over with the icing. And there it is, cinnamon roll scones. Quick, easy and delicious. I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe. For more delicious recipes like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.